There is a debate happening in the scientific community. Experts have found evidence which indicates that ancient crocodiles could have been bipedal. But some in the paleontology community aren't really sure if that's really what these footprints suggest. So why do some think these could be the great-grandparents of crocs while others are still on the fence? Here is what you need to know. Experts from South Korea's Chinju National University of Education discovered many fossilized animal tracks in 2019 that they now believe could belong to an ancient crocodile that walked on two feet. Their research was published in the journal Scientific Reports. The team found the fossilized footprints at a site located west of Sacheon City in South Korea's South Gyeongsang province. The team has named the animal Batrachopus grandis. The footprints measure up to 24 centimeters in length, and the heel print, digits, and impressions of the pads look very similar to those of crocodile track marks, the BBC reports, citing Professor Martin Lockley from the University of Colorado at Denver, a co-author of the study. The Batrachopus grandis legs were about the same height as a human adult's legs. The fact that there are no tracks of the ancient crocodile's tails dragging behind them and the closeness of the footprints suggests this animal could have been bipedal. If you ask Professor Phil Manning from the University of Manchester, though, you'll hear another interpretation of these marks. Here's what he told the BBC. For me, the tracks just don't fit the overall geometry of a crocodilian and what it's capable of producing. Look at any videos of living crocs and the rotation of their feet when they're galloping. It's outwards, not inwards, toward the midline of the trackway. Just from the orientation, it looks more like some kind of dinosaurian track maker to me. But whether it's a croc, unfortunately, we just don't have the fossil bones to tell us. Interestingly enough, the tracks of the Batrocopus grandis found by this team were initially thought to have belonged to a giant pterosaur. This was the same mistake this other research team made when they realized they actually had a really special fossil in their hands. Five years after the discovery of a pterosaur fossil, a PhD student in Australia noticed that it had been mislabeled and that it actually belonged to a rare dinosaur called Elephrosaurus. Here's what you need to know. Paleontologists at Australia's Swinburne University of Technology discovered they had mistakenly identified a fossil as the bone of an ancient flying reptile called pterosaur, but it actually belonged to a rare dinosaur called Elaphrosaur. This is the first Elaphrosaur found in Australia. Citing Stephen Porapat, the lead author of the study, The Guardian reports that only three other Elephrosaur species have been found in Tanzania, China, and Argentina. The Elephrosaur was part of the theropod family, which includes predators like the Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptors. It was roughly as tall as a small emu and measures 2 meters from its head to the end of its tail. According to the research published in the journal Gondwana Research, the Elephrosaur the team discovered lived during the Cretaceous period. At this time, Australia's land was located in the Arctic Circle. Researchers believe that the Elephrosaurs may have lived in a habitat containing a diverse variety of plants and trees such as conifers, ginkgos, ferns, horsetails, conifers, and flowering plants. Sadly, researchers haven't been able to go back to the dig site where they discovered this fossil. You know, because of the deadly forest fires and global pandemic. However, Porpat told The Guardian that there is a high chance of finding more Elephrosaur bones. But let's not forget that it didn't really matter which deadly dino you were related to. This infamous asteroid wiped all of them out, T-Rex and Velociraptors included. Researchers say they found another nail in the dinosaur's coffin. The asteroid that killed them off hit Earth at a very nasty angle. Scientists have determined the angle of impact for the asteroid that contributed to the dinosaur's extinction 66 million years ago, according to a study in Nature Communications. Writing on behalf of the researchers, Imperial College London says in a news release that the asteroid had struck at the deadliest possible angle for life on Earth. Using geological data from the Chicxulub crater in Mexico in a computer model, scientists calculated the space rock's angle of attack at 60 degrees. The asteroid with its steep impact angle reached sulfur, carbonates, and water deep in the Earth. The vapors and debris were flung into the atmosphere and triggered a nuclear winter that wiped out the dinosaurs. The researchers found asymmetries between the centers of the mountains inside the crater, the crater's physical center point, and the center of uplifted mantle 30 kilometers beneath the surface. Scientists then worked backward to model the asteroid's impact. But hey! Thanks for leaving the Earth to us, puny mammals. 
For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.